Bolt is an electric bike that looks and acts like a motorcycle, but comes with a bunch of technological advances. Because it's technically a bike, it doesn't need a motorcycle license or insurance to ride, and you can even park it on the sidewalk. We went to the Bolt garage to check it out. Yeah, so how does it work? Well, so we, we wake the bike up. It's very similar to motorcycle controls. Mm -hmm. You have your master kill switch and you wake it up. You're prompted to enter your password, which is this. Mm -hmm. These bikes are on, they're Bluetooth enabled. So you walk up to the bike with your phone, you press go and it greets you. Uh, and if you don't have so you can turn the bike on with your phone. Oh, that's just one of the cool things you can do. Okay. With, with a smartphone, it now connects the bike now to the cloud. And so when you have an internet ready motorbike, you can do a lot of really Wait, cool things. Wait, do we things. need our bikes in the cloud? Well, they're there. Whether you need them or not, you okay. can. But what's cool about having a, a cloud connected bike, you get security. Mm -hmm. You get remote control of the modes. Let's so if say, someone steals your bike or something, you can Exactly. Yeah, That's okay. the idea. Okay. And and if you're you're a mom and you're an experienced rider, you can ride this thing in sport mode. If you're dad and you're you're sort of new to riding, mm -hmm. um, you're maybe not ready for the power and performance of sport mode, you can ride it in, you know, a custom mode that's a little bit lower off the line. And then mom and dad can remotely limit this for Junior, who just turned 16, mm -hmm. and they don't want their kid to ride more than 20 miles per hour, <laughs> right? And I've heard a number of, of, of horror stories uh, of scooters that, I mean, this bike is on right now. Mm -hmm. And and you might not know that, so I, I've heard of people just twisting the throttle, and I've seen people just come by and twist our throttle. Mm -hmm. and, and in some cases, their scooter had gone flying across the room into a wall or into a group of people, whatever it may be. So mm -hmm. we developed safe mode for just this reason. So I noticed also it has a USB port. Yep, that's for charging your phone, for your tablet, whatever. I mean, the basically tablet. you have okay. you have a five volt USB with two amps available mm -hmm. to you. And you build these here, we, right in this garage. We make these handmade. in the shop. They are currently handmade by highly overqualified individuals. <laughs> And you know we want to make sure that these bikes, our first bikes that are going to our customers, mm -hmm. are solid. So I, I do want to ask you something about uh, this is an electric bike, mm -hmm. and though it's really good for transportation in San Francisco, there might be a lot of people who want this bike but don't have a place to plug it in. Oh boy, that's you know that's that was one of the, the sort of core design choices that we we made with this bike. So. If you don't have a garage, you can lock the bike to a signpost, you can disconnect your battery, and with a lift of this lever, you can pop out your batteries and swap them out. You can lock your bike to a signpost, bring your batteries inside to charge, or swap them out for a fresh set, and then you've got another 20 to 35 miles of riding. And you know, to get this type of range and power and performance, mm -hmm. you need a lot of battery. And we didn't want to have a 36 pound brick for someone to come inside. So we decided to split these up into two briefcase styles. Mm -hmm. We have a little handle that you carry them just like a briefcase and you know it's it's a real it's a it's a breeze. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, let's uh, let's get me on this thing. Let's ride. 